Back now at 851, a recent federal report found that one-third of eighth graders lack basic science skills and girls lag behind boys. Well, today's Jenna Wolf found a group of women using a popular sport to change that. Jenna, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Savannah. This is an interesting story. You don't need an advanced degree in rocket science or brain surgery to become a cheerleader. Or do you? I met a cheerleading squad where an advanced science degree is not only encouraged, it's kind of required. But I gotta go to work. By night, Wendy Brown is a body whirling, hair tossing, crowd hyping dancer for the Sacramento Kings. By day, this professional cheerleader surrounds herself with science at UC Davis, taking classes in statistics and pursuing a PhD in biomedical engineering. So what if it's nerdy? Who cares? I love it. Who cares if I'm a cheerleader? You know, it's fun. Wendy belongs to a rapidly growing group of women in this country known as science cheerleaders. They perform during NBA, NFL, and other pro sports games while also pursuing a career in the advanced sciences. Here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival in Washington, D.C., Wendy and a team of former and current pro cheerleaders are out of their lab coats and in their dance wear to promote, well, science. Among this group, there's a clinical psychologist, a dentist, and a phlebotomist. Talmisha co-captains the Washington Redskins cheerleaders, and she just got her PhD in cellular molecular medicine. Cellular molecular medicine. It sounds more difficult than it is. No, I bet you it's more difficult than it sounds. Several science cheerleaders dance for the Washington Wizards. Suzanne is an engineer at ExxonMobil. Devin is an IT specialist, and Lauren is a financial analyst. What's a financial analyst? And better let her explain. So I work on, you know, space platform programs and advanced concepts and technologies. Darlene Cavalier, a former cheerleader for the 76ers, founded the group to get the general public rethinking the image of scientists. We know from the National Science Foundation, they ask kids to draw what scientists look like. And an overwhelming majority drew the woman scientist as sad and lonely. And they're anything but sad and lonely looking female scientists. So I think that's part of the draw is just the surprise factor. Women make up almost half of the U.S. workforce, but hold less than a quarter of all science, technology, engineering, and math jobs. That's why these cheerleaders want to put the kibosh on the idea of nerdy, lonely female scientists. It doesn't make me feel good that kids that young are buying into that stereotype because it's definitely not true. When we caught up with these cheerleaders, they were working on a record-breaking project, leading schools across the country in a cheer strong enough for the U.S. Geological Survey to measure. So it didn't quite register on the Richter scale. It did, however, enroll almost 75 schools in a long-term government project to monitor earthquakes. While they all clearly have passion for science, they also have a little patience with me. Give me one formula. Oh, jeez. Secant equals one over sine. Cosecant is one over cosine. Any of those. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> I trust you, mother. Right now, still don't know what you said. Right now, there are more than 200 current and former professional cheerleaders registered with the Science Cheerleader site to find out about some scientific research that you don't even need a degree to help out with. <laughs> Head to today.com. These girls exponentially I love smarter that story. than I three will cheers be. for intelligence. Big time cheers Jenna with a degree. Still ahead, the right ways to break your kids' bad habits. But first, your local news.